Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video we are going to learn about advantages and disadvantages advantages and disadvantages of amplitude modulation okay so basic amplitude modulation okay so remember that amplitude modulation is also called amplitude modulation full carrier in some of the textbooks you'll find like this so amplitude modulation full carrier so it also represents the pure modulation that is pure amplitude modulation technique only so am fc also represents the amplitude modulation only so first of all we'll discuss about the advantages okay then we'll discuss about the disadvantages so advantages of uh, am modulation is first is demodulation is simple so demodulation is simple okay so for demodulation we'll use envelope detector okay so we'll use envelope detector which requires less hardware requirement it requires less hardware and easy to construct okay so easy to construct and hardware requirement is also less so it, the demodulation is very simple we'll use envelope detector okay so due to this demodulation uh, is very simple it is used in point to multi point transmission okay so this am signal is used in point to multi point communication okay so one receiver will uh, sorry one transmitter will have many receivers so that is called as point to multi point communication second it is second advantage of am is it is used for long distance transmission long distance transmission okay so for transmitting long distances we'll use uh, amplitude modulation so normal radio uh, akashwani radio which we listen the main station is not the local station so the main station is transmitting over overall india okay so it is transmitting overall india which uses again amplitude modulation only am modulation only okay so it is used for long distance transmission okay so i'll explain you this when we come to uh, when we discuss about fm also that is frequency modulation so after discussing fm uh, i'll tell you the uh, differences between am and fm in that i'll clearly explain you about this long distance transmission okay so until then keep that as you keep that in mind that it is also an advantage of uh, amplitude modulation okay so next comes disadvantages so disadvantages of am so disadvantage of am the first disadvantage is transmission power transmission power is wasted is wasted so around 67 percent of the transmitted power is going to be wasted in the case of am why so we know that the efficiency modulation efficiency modulation efficiency so modulation efficiency is given by sideband power by total power transmitted into 100 percent so we know that the uh, in the power concept in the power of amplitude modulation i have told you so pt is equal to pc into 1 plus mu square by 2 and sideband power psp is equal to ac square mu square by 4 okay so this can be written as ac square by 2 into 1 plus mu square by 2 okay so sideband power is ac square mu square by 4 divided by ac square by 2 into 1 plus mu square by 2 into 100 percent 
so ac square by 2 and ac square by 2 cancelled here so here ac square here 2 cancelled so we'll get 2 here so what is left over mu square by 2 by 1 plus mu square by 2 into 100 percent so if you take lcm we'll get mu square by 2 plus mu square into 100 percent okay so this is the modulation efficiency formula okay so we have got uh, the efficiency as mu square by 2 plus mu square into 100 percent so we know that the modulation index lies between 0 and 1 okay so the maximum value of mu is mu 1 so maximum value of mu is going to be 1 so if you substitute 1 here what is percentage efficiency so for the maximum value of mu so percentage efficiency is 1 by so 1 by 2 plus 1 into 100 that is 33.3 percent okay so 33 percent around it is taken as 33 percent that is what is percentage efficiency so PSB by PT so into 100 percent okay so if you take 100 percentage here so eta is equal to PSB by PT so is implies sideband power is equal to eta into PT so for maximum value we have got only 33 percent so PSB what can we write is only 33 percent of PT okay so that means that in the total power transmitted only 33 percent it is is used for transmitting sidebands so actually in the case of am so s of t of am we have two terms what is ac cos 2 pi fct plus ac ka m of t into cos 2 pi fct fc into t okay so there are two terms so first is only carrier term we'll call this as only carrier because no message signal is there so here we will call it as side bands so this we have already discussed so only so this side bands power of the side bands is only 33 percent required uh, or 33 percent is utilized in transmitting the side bands of the total power transmitted okay so pt here the total power required here is 33 percent is utilized for side bands and remaining 67 percent of the power is utilized for carrier only carrier only transmission which does not contain any message signal okay so the main purpose of any communication system is to transmit the message signal not the carrier signal okay so that is why 67 percent of the power is going to be wasted okay so that is the first point or first drawback which i have told you so transmission power is going to be wasted by 67 percent okay so this is how we can prove that 67 percent of the power is going to be wasted in am signal transmission okay and second disadvantage is it needs high transmission bandwidth high transmission bandwidth okay so we know that the bandwidth of am signal so bandwidth of any am signal is twice the message signal bandwidth so twice the message signal bandwidth so here also the bandwidth is going to be wasted because the bandwidth should be as minimum as possible for efficient multiplexing so fdm is the technique which we use so for efficient multiplexing the bandwidth of the signal must be as low as possible okay so this i will explain later so but the bandwidth of any modulated signal must be as low as possible okay so since it requires twice the message signal bandwidth so high transmission bandwidth is required for the uh, am signal so bandwidth of the message or bandwidth of the signal is also being wasted in the case of am okay so this is the second disadvantage and the third disadvantage is amplitude modulation amplitude modulation is highly affected by noise okay so it is highly affected by noise 
since the message signal since the message signal is in the form of amplitude okay so as message signal is resided resided in the amplitude of the carrier okay so that means this message signal is stored in the amplitude of the carrier and noise will always will always disturbs the amplitude very easily noise always first disturbs the amplitude very easily so there will be more effect of noise on amplitude modulation okay so amplitude modulation is highly affected by noise okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of amplitude modulation or we'll call that as amplitude modulation with full carrier both are same Okay